better work quickly here because Frankie Edgar with that patented sprint to the octagon, I know you've taken a page out of his book. It's a wrestling thing, Jay. A wrestler's going to get down to business, and that is what Frankie Edgar is all about. He is jersey strong to his bone. Frankie is a guy that even when it looks like he's out of it, he can continue to press forward and get the goal accomplished. When he got dropped and hurt by Gray Maynard way back before he became champion, he was able to build himself back into that fight and secure a draw. And then the second time they fought, same thing, but he was the one that got the finish. They call him the little engine that could because you could never tell Frankie Edgar there's something he can't do. It's about 10 years ago, he won the UFC lightweight championship in Abu Dhabi. Truly one of the fighters that embraced fighting at his natural weight before it was in vogue. The answer, Frankie Edgar, back in yet another big UFC spot here tonight. Interesting to see how this fight plays out stylistically. On one side, we have as high-level a wrestler as we have seen cross into this division at some time. And I know you guys enjoy talking wrestling in the fighter meeting. Is it your expectations going to try to take this fight down early? Oh, John, he's going for single leg right away. It's his best take now. He wants to take you down and he wants to worry you out. He wants to go from position A to position B. Position A, take him down. Position B, on the ground, move to C. Get to the mouth. Try to find a way to dominate and in between suffocate. Make him work at every single turn. This guy's tremendous. He is the embodiment of the fight style that so many of us use. Well, as you know, every MMA round begins on the feet, but the only wisdom is this one could hit the canvas and sooner rather than later. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this here is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Frankie the Edgar. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alexander the Great Ape Hernandez. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. Good. So here's the former UFC lightweight champion, Frankie Edgar, still has visions of winning a belt in the second division. That makes tonight a must-win scenario for him here at 145 pounds. Frankie Edgar has been in there with the best in the game, and as usual, sharing the octagon with a fellow elite here tonight. He's looking to land the right, just out of reach. Well, the wisdom coming in was that he'd want to get this fight to the ground. That'll help. Early takedown is good. Oh, he's got his back. Risk control. Risk control. He's going for the rear naked choke now. Oh, that's getting deep. Oh, wow, he got out and knocked him. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking whenever he was beat so greatly by that rear naked choke. We may get a finish here, rear naked choke, locked in. All he's got to do now is drive forward pressure to make his opponent attack. Oh, come on, I'd be tapping, that's got to be it. Oh, he got out. He took two hands to the elbow and shoved it over the top of his head to free himself from that rear naked choke. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. Oh, Unbelievable. So what a 
win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I gotta keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Bruce Buffer is here. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 26 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, Alexander the Great Ape Hernandez! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.